In this video, I'm going to be going in depth into ChatGPT, showing you how to quickly plan events, big or small. Whether you use ChatGPT for your business or your personal life, this video is going to be useful and it's going to help take the stress out of planning events. Now, before we dive into this, if you do want to understand ChatGPT from A to Z without missing any important steps along the way, then you can consider purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course using the link in the description or the top pinned comment. There are over 60 people using this course and in the community now, and we would love to have you there as well. Now, let's get into this video. We are now in ChatGPT, and for this tutorial, I'm going to be using GPT-4. Now, let's take a look at our event planning prompt that will be in the description if you would like to copy, paste, and follow along. So we start off with a system function saying, act as a professional planner. This will give ChatGPT the guidelines it needs in order to help us plan this event. And now it's thinking as a professional planner would think. Next, we have to list our goal in the event that we are trying to plan, whether that's trying to plan our day effectively and efficiently, or a bigger event like a corporate gathering or a wedding. It can really be anything that requires planning. I say, I need help planning A, and then we have to list our event right here. So for this, I'm just going to put corporate event. Let's say I am the one in charge of developing this corporate event, and I'm struggling to plan it, and it's pretty stressful because of all the people that are coming and all of the moving parts that come along with it. Next, I give ChatGPT an action. I tell it to create a list of everything that needs to be accomplished for this to be successful. Then I go on to say, here are some of the details. And now here's where we list everything that we know about the event so far. So if you don't know anything about the event, just delete this line and ChatGPT will give you a base foundation of what to put within that event when it comes to planning. But right here where it says event details, I'm just going to list everything I currently know about this corporate event. So I can say something along the lines of how many people are going to be there, how long the event's going to be, some of the things that will take place, and then ChatGPT will plan around that. So what I did was I typed out all the information that I know about this event. I said, this event is a national sales meeting for my company. This will take place over three days for six hours each day. There will be 120 attendees. Breakfast and lunch needs to be provided at the events each day. We have four keynotes that need presented, five guest speakers, and adequate times for breakout sessions and team building activities. So this is all of my event details, and it's very important to be as specific as possible when telling ChatGPT everything that you know in order to get the best planning advice for your situation. Then at the tail end of the prompt here, I say, now list everything that needs to be accomplished in a sequential order for maximum success and efficiency. Ask me follow-up questions when needed in order to help make, and then we are going to restate what the event is and planned correctly. So in order to make this national sales meeting, and then we have the planned correctly at the end. So now this prompt is ready to send off, and this is going to just give us a list of everything that needs to be accomplished in order for this event to be successful. And now I'm going to send this off, and ChatGPT is going to get to work. And just like that, in a matter of about 30 seconds, ChatGPT does a wonderful job at planning out this event step by step for me, and it gives all the information necessary, some of which I didn't think of, in order to make this event successful. So it starts off with preliminary conditions, then it moves on to location and venue, and within each of these main sections, it's giving four to five steps on how to complete this main task. Now we are going to get into the checklist side of things a little bit later, but let's keep taking a look at how well it did when it comes to planning this event. So after location and venue, it says speakers and content, and it's giving us all of these action steps to take in order to make sure that this section is complete. So for speakers and content, it says confirm participation of four keynote speakers, confirm participation of five guest speakers, determine the order of speaker presentations, and arrange for any technological needs they might have. So doing these steps is going to completely take care of the speakers and content section. And just having this laid out for you in this format just makes things so much less stressful. And then we have a questions for you section, which in my opinion might be the most powerful thing yet of this entire prompt. If you remember correctly, within our prompt, we asked ChatGPT to ask me follow-up questions when needed in order to help make this national sales meeting planned correctly. So now what ChatGPT has done is based on the information I've provided already, 
It's developed questions on stuff that I didn't touch on or things that do need to be answered in order to make this event successful. So now I'm going to go ahead and answer all seven of these questions. So now I've went ahead and answered all of these questions and ChatGPT is now going to help me better plan this. For example, question number one asked, is there a specific venue in mind or a preferred type of venue? And I answered like so. Can you give me venue suggestions in downtown Chicago that could fit my needs? So now I'm going to be getting suggestions just based on my location. And then I kept on answering all of these questions and ChatGPT now, once I send this off, will give me a much better planning guide. Because not only is it just telling me what to do by saying location and venue, and then it's just telling me to research potential venues, but ChatGPT is actually doing the research for me now and giving me suggestions in downtown Chicago. So after answering all seven of these questions, ChatGPT went super in-depth on different suggestions for certain venues, for team building activities. It's giving me team building activities we could do in Chicago specifically, and it's going more in depth on materials and technology, speakers requirements and branding and materials, giving me these specific guidelines in order to ensure a smooth event. Now that we have a lot of the information we'd need in order to start planning for this event and start taking some action steps, what we can do is we can refine this list down and get actionable items for us to complete in order for us to make this a successful event. Because right now, everything is all over the place. There's a ton of different information. It's hard to consume. So we are going to type in the prompt necessary in order to help refine this in order to make this a simple step-by-step -step planning guide. So we currently have all of this information, which is kind of hard to digest. So what we are actually going to do now is we are going to send off this prompt that I just got done typing in. Refine all of the information you've given me into a list of actionable steps I can take to ensure this event is successful. Make this list short and to the point. With this actionable list, create a three-day schedule with proper time slots. Ensure smooth transition and breakout time. So the schedule with the actionable list combined is going to be a superpower when it comes to planning your next event. Figuring out the most efficient way to lay out a schedule is one of the hardest parts about planning an event because everything has to be smooth. And then at the end here, I'm going to add on, make this a professional planning guide, just so we have that more effective planning guide terminology in there. So now we are going to send off this message and we are going to get our actionable list with our schedule. And this is what I love so much about ChatGPT. It's given us this nice output format with a nice header. And then it's given us eight categories with actionable steps that we can take in each category to ensure that this is successful. So venue booking, we have to research and contact Chicago venues and confirm availability and book our chosen venue. And we have all of these steps laid out in a nice list for us. And then it goes on to continue with the three day schedule for the national sales meeting. And it breaks down each day with the time slots and we just have our complete schedule built in a matter of 15 seconds. And the good thing is, is that this gives us the proper foundations in order to have an effective schedule. It doesn't necessarily have to be this way, but now we can have something to build off of so we're not starting from completely nothing. This is how I plan events in ChatGPT. You can go much more in depth than I did. I could have went more in depth on the breakout sessions, the team building activities, and asked follow-up questions and so on, but the important thing to remember is that we are taking in a lot of information about this event from ChatGPT, and then we are getting a rough draft list later on by refining it all together, and then we can make the proper adjustments and editing on our own time, but ChatGPT gives us a wonderful foundation for planning out huge events with a lot of moving parts. If you'd like to learn more about ChatGPT, then you can watch the free content on my channel or purchase my ChatGPT Mastery course with 29 plus private modules and an ever-growing community that is always learning about ChatGPT and the future of this technology. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment letting me know your feedback and improvements. I would love to take it into consideration. And I will see you in the next video.